Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields Flower Farm and I'm here with Lucy and I know I just went live with my how to deadhead your roses video, but I have to say there's so much going on at the farm and the Flower Tribe is sending in so many amazing questions. Sometimes it's just easier for me to answer them on a live video than to make the video, edit it. I'm the world's worst video editor, so yeah. So let me just get right into it. Jamie Ray uh, just sent in this question um, and the question was, I have frost damaged hydrangea branches and you know, blooms, should I deadhead them or leave them alone? So I think that the, the concern is, yeah, like when you have like a, a mop head hydrangea, like a Nico or an endless summer, you're not really supposed to be doing any kind of heavy pruning at this time of year. Here it is May, we're in like the middle of May. I'm in my New Jersey garden right now. And um, so the rule of thumb is that you're not supposed to prune them. However, I've got a load of endless summers right now that have like massive, frost damage like we got like snow uh just like at the very end of like march and it's just completely like zapped off most of the blooms that are on those old wood stems that were put in place last year so at that point the answer would be yeah you can go in there and get rid of those dead branches because they're not going to give you the blooms and the hydrangea plant is just having to like support all that dead weight so i'm going to show you what one of my endless summer looked like that got completely clobbered by that frost and I'm going to show you the, the what's what or what's going on here. So these are like the old stems from last year. This is considered the old wood and this is a great time to also show you again the difference between like the old wood, the new growth. So this endless summer was supposed to look like this. Like all of these stems here are supposed to look like this one here. So it had the old wood that was put in place like last year. These little buds that you see here should have all been leaves. And those buds were put in place way back in fall of last year. And you know, those little buds should have all been these leaves, which are then gonna turn into my beautiful, you know, like blue and purple, uh, endless summer flowers in the beginning of summer. Uh, but and this is the reason why you're not supposed to trim back your endless summer or your mop head hydrangeas. Cause if you go in there and you kind of trim all these branches back, a lot of people get like slap happy with the pruning in spring, you're cutting off all of those flowers that were supposed to come in on in summer on the first flush of flowers. Now with endless summer, these guys are awesome because they give you two different sets of blooms. So they're going to give you that whole first flush of flowers in the beginning of summer that were supposed to come in you know, on all these branches from the old wood, but then you get a second chance of flower success by the new growth that's coming in from the bottom of the plant. So all that new green growth was not affected by that winter zap because they weren't here when the winter zap happened. Oh, look, the whole, the whole gang's out here today. I've got Shadow here, Lucy's here, and Tigger's somewhere inside. So this new growth is going to give me a second flush of flowers towards the end of summer. So that's kind of uh, nice. You know, there's a lot of new varieties now of hydrangeas and Proven Winners Color Choice has a load of them. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of like um, Let's Dance from them. And uh, you know, the Endless Summer variety is amazing for that. So you have, you know, two shots of getting flowers when you get what's called a re-blooming hydrangea. So if you're shopping for hydrangeas, if you're new to the hydrangea game, you can look for a re-bloomer and this way you get two shots of flowers with that plant. Oh look, Tigger's here too. So that's the story. So I'm going to come in here now. I'm going to show you how I get rid of these like really, really damaged, you know, winter zapped branches because they're not going to do the plant any good right now. If anything, they're actually like harboring uh, insects because some of them have holes in them right now. It's like a weak spot on the plant and disease and pests love, you know, the weak spots on the plant. They kind of take over. So I'm going to come in here right now. Now it's May. So I waited. So a lot of times people will come out here and they'll go to prune back, you know, their hydrangeas that have winter damage, but they might come and do it in April. And if I were to come out here and prune this plant back in April, I wouldn't have given it a chance, you know, to, to get some of that green growth. There's not much of it, but you know what, any kind of green growth or any kind of flowers that I have on my plant that I think are gonna be beautiful and healthy, I wanna save them. So a lot of times I will wait until like May to come out and do like a real winter zap pruning on some of those damaged uh, plants. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go in here and I've got like a clean set of clippers. I clean these before with some alcohol. It's really important to always use like super clean clippers. And I'm just going to go down actually to where like that new growth is because I know that none of these, like all of these blooms here, like none of them are, are going to come through. So it's not worth me saving 
any of these branches right now because these are all you can see this here this should have been green it should have been that green leaf it's just not worth it like it's just it's dead right now give you a little close-up of tigger okay oh here we go so i'm going to get in here i'm going to clip it back here and you could tell where i clipped it it's white like that's all completely dead like there was nothing alive on that branch so that's just a dead branch and it's not serving the plant right now so i'm just going to snip it off and i'm going to snip off the little neighbor plant next door the little neighbor stem next door i don't want to hit those leaves so once again that's dead it's totally white on the inside so these guys are not serving anybody right now i'm going to clip back this one here you know what i need a i need a thicker pruner right now I actually have a tool called a prune arbor that I love. It kind of helps me with tough situations like that. I'm just going to keep snipping away. So I know you guys don't want to watch me do this entire plant, but that's the story. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to keep on snipping away all these branches. I'm going to make sure that I remove them. And then I'm going to just totally clean up the plant. So that's what I'm going to do with this endless summer. And a quick and easy tip, guys, I want to thank you for your comments and your questions because they inspire my podcasts and they inspire all the answers, you know, all the videos that I make on this YouTube channel. So please check out my new podcast. I can use some reviews. Um, the New Kid on the Block, there is a, a Spotify uh, link below if you guys can check that out. I would really appreciate it because um, the more people uh, that, that view our garden channel, I think that we can help people grow more beautiful flowers all around the world. And um, But to get, you know, recognized on the podcast, I kind of need a little bit of traction, a little little uh, locomotion there so I can use some help. So check that out in descriptions below and check out my online flower courses. They're going to teach you how to grow amazing fresh cut flowers in your own backyard and then they also teach you how to arrange them into beautiful arrangements. So check that out. There's also a gifting option for all of my online courses. So if there's a gardener in your life that you're looking for a terrific gift for, check that out. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. If you don't mind, if you liked my garden tips, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know where you're viewing this from. I love to see how the flower tribe's growing around the globe each week. And uh, yeah, so I will keep these quick and easy garden tips coming your way. Okay, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's say goodbye, Lucy. I know, did you see the kitty brothers? <laughs> what are they doing out here? <laughs>